This guide shows you how to manually update to the latest version of Windows 10. As of May 2017, that's the creator's update. Please note, this update will automatically come through to your computer at some point in time, but if you wish to rush it through now, this is how you do it. First of all, please ensure you've got a backup of any important files on your computer. Also, make sure that you have the installation media and usernames and passwords to reinstall any programs should there be a problem during the installation. It must be stressed that updating an operating system is extremely risky. This is why I say that you need to ensure that you've got backups of any important files and installation media or usernames and passwords to reinstall programs in the event of anything going wrong. Also, the update is a brand new update and therefore is likely to contain bugs. So if you want a smooth running system, then please wait until the update is automatically pushed to your computer. Okay. So you've got all your installation media, all your usernames and passwords and backed up all your important files in case anything goes wrong. So first of all, we need to download the Windows Update Assistant. So to do this, we need to open Microsoft Edge. Now I say Microsoft Edge so that we're all following the same guide. Every Windows 10 installation should have Microsoft Edge. So to open it, it's this dark blue E down here, or we left click on the start menu and then we left click Microsoft Edge. If you can't see it in any of those places, just type in the search box at the bottom Microsoft Edge. And then under best match, it should say Microsoft Edge, Microsoft recommended browser. So once it's opened, click in the search or enter web address box and type in there microsoft.com and then press enter or return on the keyboard or click the left click the arrow just to the right. When the Microsoft website has loaded, click in search microsoft.com and type creators update and then click the magnifying glass just to the right. Then click Windows 10 new creators update and features dash microsoft.com scroll down the page until you see download update assistant and left click download update assistant if you get a blank page like i have click windows 10 new create just there and here it says at the bottom what do you want to do with windows 10 upgrade 9194.exe save save as or cancel left click save it may say running security scan for a while this is quite normal now it says windows 10 upgrade 9194.exe has finished downloading so left click run it will now say do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device well as long as it says windows 10 upgrader and the verified publisher is microsoft.com then it's okay to left click yes here the Windows 10 Update Assistant now loads. So we've got a couple of choices here. We can either update now or do not update now. So at this point, make sure, like I say, that you've backed up anything important because there is a chance that it could all go wrong and your computer may not start. So think about it very carefully whether you want to continue here because, like I say, if you haven't got backup copies of your programs or your files and it doesn't work, then you could stand to lose all of your information and all of your programs. So please think very carefully here before you uh, you continue. So, okay then, so you've definitely made sure you've got backups of all your programs and you've got backups of all your very important files. You've got all your usernames and passwords so that if the worst happens, you can reload your system from scratch. So we now need to left click on update now. Okay, so it just confirms here that the PC is compatible. If it wasn't compatible, then uh, it would tell you and uh, you can then give uh, given the chance to either um, download some updates to make it compatible or to abort it and come back at another time when the system may well be 
compatible. So right now it's downloading the update. Now this is gonna take a while, depending on the speed of your internet connection, it could take several minutes to several hours to even several days. So just leave this now um, and we'll come back to it when this part has finished and we'll go through the rest of the update. I would recommend not using the computer while this is going so that you don't interrupt it. Okay, so uh, that took a couple of hours to get to this stage. So it's actually saying now your update is ready. Your, police, your PC needs to restart to complete the update. So uh, it says save your work and leave your PC plugged in and turned on. If you choose to restart later, we'll automatically restart the PC when you're not using it. The update usually takes 90 minutes or less to complete, but we'll let you know once it has finished. So yeah, it could take 90 minutes or less uh, there is a chance that it might take 90 minutes or more. Please just be patient with it. And whatever you do, if it looks like it's frozen up, just, just walk away from it, just leave it. The last thing you really wanna do is to power the computer off midway through this update. So uh, when you're ready, you can just left click restart now. Okay, so it says you're about to be signed out. Windows 10 updates assistant will reboot your device to complete the update. So left click close. And as you can see, it says restarting and the computer's now restarting. And here we go. This is now updating. Now it says working on updates. This might hang on certain percentages a few times, but as it says, whatever you do, don't turn your PC off and this will take a while. It also says your PC will restart several times. So just leave it. I'm going to pause this video and we'll come back to it um, when this part is finished. Okay, so the updates are uh, nearing the end now. Um, <clears throat> it's at 91%, so hopefully shouldn't be too much longer. Uh, up to this point, it's taken about an hour and a half, I think, for my machine to get to this point now. So uh, um, it's... Uh, I think taking a little longer than the 90 minutes stipulated by Microsoft. Okay, so it now confirms our username here. If it, this isn't our username, then we can click I'm not username. Um, but generally this will be correct, so we can just left click on next. It asks us to choose the privacy settings, so you can obviously tailor this to however you like by turning things on or off. Um, it should be perfectly okay just to leave it as standard, but um, if you wanted to, you could turn things off. I mean, I tend to turn off the advertising ID and uh, the tailored experiences with diagnostic data, but it's, it's entirely up to you. Uh, these things might help you at some point. So uh, I'm just gonna left click accept and it's asking us, do we want to use Cortana? Well, again, it's entirely up to you. I personally have said in the past, not now, because I don't think Cortana is that good, to be quite honest with you. So if you want to use Cortana, click use Cortana. If not, click not now. And uh, we've got the higher, we've got some updates for your PC. This might take a little while, just while it's finishing off the, uh, the updates and uh, as it says there, this might take several minutes. No, in Microsoft, several is the uh, operative word. So just be patient at this part. Okay, so it says, let's start. And uh, we get welcome to the Windows 10 creators. Uh, gives us an idea here of, uh, of what's new on here. So we can have a look through this if we want to, or we can just plow straight in. So I'm just gonna close this down just by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner. And the upgrade assistant says, thank you for upgrading to the latest version of Windows 10. So left click exit. Now we wanna clean things up a bit here now. So first of all, I'm gonna uninstall the um, Windows 10 upgrade assistant. We no longer need that until the next update. So uh, what we need to do is we need to click on the start button, left click on the start button. And then I'm just gonna type add or remove and as we can see there it says add or remove programs under best match system settings so we click on the cog that's a left click on the cog and we scroll down to windows upgrade assistant and left click windows upgrade assistant 
and then we left click uninstall and then we left click uninstall again. Uh, so it says, do you want to allow the, this app to make changes to your device? So just make sure it says Windows 10 Upgrader and left click yes. And it says, that, are you sure you want to uninstall the Windows 10 Update Assistant? Now, this will only un uninstall the Update Assistant, the thing we use to get the upgrade. It won't take the upgrade off. So I left click uninstall and that's now been uninstalled. So I left click on the cross just at the top right hand corner of this window here to shut down. And the next thing I want to do is I want to down I want to delete the installation file that we downloaded earlier. So I left click the yellow folder down the bottom here and then left click downloads and I right click on the file here that says Windows 10 upgrade 9194. That's a right click. Move your mouse down to delete and left click delete. And there you go, that's deleted the installation file. And that's it, that's how you upgrade to the Windows 10 Creators Update. Thanks for watching.